Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls, pipe lovers, pipe smokers, welcome to this channel, I'm Daniel Master and I'm pipe maker from Croatia. Today I have few things for you, first this should be more or less video about this guy. Retrace Black Virginia. But before we go into this, I will have to show you something. A couple of days ago, I received an email, um, a mail from a friend of mine, and it can contained this Herbert West reanimated temper so I think you might already know what was inside of this nylon pouch if you are this guy it's a temper from Chris Kelly that he is making from his resin briar and this here inside are skulls and above all his versions that he is making I love this one the best and it's a cool temper I have only one problem with it actually two it is really big and if you have small pipes it is kind of difficult to tamp to the bottom if the bottom narrows so you need to be aware that this tamper has actually a diameter of fourteen mils down there so um, think about that And another thing I have to say about this temper, it doesn't have a pipe tool. Which is okay, it is a temper, you know, and a beautiful one. So, if you need a temper without a pin, that's the way to go. They are really cheap, really good looking, and um, yeah, they are good, <laughs> really nice. Maybe... Um, an idea for Chris maybe you could make them a little bit smaller and a little bit less in diameter without skulls that would look also really really nice um, and maybe for a little bit less price like I don't know 20-25% less than the price of this one or whatever that will still look good and they will be a little bit smaller like you know see this is a big one. Anyway, I found a, a box plastic container from a cigar and I'm putting it inside not to damage it because I love how it's look how it's looking. So Jesus Christ. <laughs> Regarding Retrace Black Virginia. It is really a nice tobacco overall. Um, looking really black. <laughs> so the tin is from 2018 so it was sitting for a year and a half maybe even two years now and um, right from the tin it is black really really well actually not black it's dark brown more like a, 
a black tea, dark brownish to black, and it is moist. So, you might have some issues lighting it up. Like, if you need obligatory two relights to start it, here you will need about three, maybe four, to start it. But when it starts, it works. So, a small detail, maybe, to leave it aside opened, the amount you want to put into your pipe and just to leave it to dry a little bit, couple of minutes and then put it in. Or do a relight and leave it in the in the pipe to sit a little bit. That will dry it maybe a little bit faster, I think. Regarding tin note, it is beautiful. You know, it smells I like to give tobaccos to girls to smell on it and from the reactions of this guy they want to eat it because it's smelling so good and it shouldn't be aromatic it says British collection Black Virginia and um, from what I read it says it's made from various Virginias processed into black Cavendish. So, it is really fruity and um, it is nice. The, the, the note, the, the smell from the tin is beautiful. One also, one remark, when you're lighting it up, it wants to escape, so the leaves, the cuts are not thin, they are really on a thick side, so when you, real, uh, when you light it up, it wants to go out of the, of the pipe all the time, so when you're lighting it up, um, yeah, you will need to tamp in between, which is kind of usual and normal, but with this guy, it really wants to go out, so, yeah. But it is, as I said, when you start it, it will burn. And it will continue burning maybe up to two-thirds, up to three-quarters of the bowl really nicely without trouble. If you are not talking, if you are just relaxing and smoking it slowly, it will burn. And it is an easy smoke. It's almost like all-day, everyday smoke. It does not have too much complexity. It doesn't develop through the bowl. Um, what it gives me is no tan bite and a really nice citrusy, easy smoke that, as I said, you can use every day. Tastes other than citrusy and to this, for this one, this tin, that citrusy taste is really, you can, you can feel it. You will receive also sweet and floral uh, kind of notes. And it, you know, it doesn't smell that bad either. It is mild tasting, mild, really nice smelling, mild tasting uh, tobacco, you know, 
easy to smoke, easy to live with, aside from a little bit of trouble to lighting it up, and aside from one fact that I didn't mention, and that is, um, because it is moist, if you don't dry it a little bit before smoking, you will have a lot of uh, moist inside your draft channel especially if you are a little bit of a fast smoker so my tip of the day for this tobacco would be to smoke it really slowly or to use you know like uh, pipe cleaners to remove excessive moisture because this guy um, is a little bit more moist and releases a, a little bit more moisture than what I'm usually having with these last couple of tins that I have been using that were like perfect moisture this guy is a little bit more moist but other than that it is really earthy and nutty smelling and tasting citrusy and floral as I said no tongue bite simple easy tobacco all day smoker okay where's my okay seems to me also that this tobacco likes to smoke or to burn from pipes that have uh, a bit bigger diameter not necessarily big in volume but diameter maybe it likes to breathe a little bit more I don't know and all the time since I'm smoking it and I'm pretty much down it gives me that citrusy constant taste uh, from when it started uh, right up till I'm here that's like two-thirds of a bowl smoked already and you still feel the citrusy vibe that it has and it burns really really nice you might have trouble with lighting it up but you know and also with that moisture it will also leave you a little bit of moisture when you are done on the bottom of the pipe you know but if you don't search for a complex crazy kind of stuff that you have to think and analyze about if you want to find a nice Virginia kind of blend that will give you a nice smoke every day without thinking about it without biting without you know yeah it's a good smoke try it in a bigger diameter today I was smoking a little one that has a diameter of about 17 maybe it was a small smoke short smoke and uh, I didn't like it that much but in this one it has a bigger diameter like 24 I guess and it's a short pipe it, it's not that deep it smokes really really nice gives me a lot more flavor I think call me stupid yeah really nice tobacco I think I will have to buy these and stash them as I did with this one hmm.
Anyway, guys, weather is crazy. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's cloudy, and it rotates during the day. And most of the time it's kind of moist. I don't like it. Yeah. Have been working on pipes. Have be finished. Couple of them. I will not show you these because they are. I will show you one. That's because I have it here with me. I need to touch a few spots with the polishing wheel to, to have it okay. See? It is an order. Really nice pipe, I think. Turned great. It has a Chris Kelly stem material. And uh, First quality Italian briar. Nice one. Pretty deep also because the the drilling goes like this, so it ends up somewhere here. So the pipe is really deep, even if it doesn't look like that. And I think she will be a really really nice smoker. Anyway. been working on a mortar again I received a couple of blocks of mortar from Ukraine and they turned out to be not as cheap as I thought they will be okay let's be honest they are never cheap but this last shipment was really expensive and uh, because I had to pay customs and the blocks were also a little bit smaller and yeah that's about it pretty much I really like this tobacco it is easy you know It doesn't pretend, it doesn't, you know, changes too much. It It's consistent, I think. Really nice. Guys, have fun. I will pretty much finish this bowl and I have to do a few things and uh, hopefully I will end up in a in a club today to do some body workout yeah fitness centers opened finally Have fun guys, bye bye.